Hi there, how you going? Well, we're back again. It's very exciting this time. Today at Ballarat, things have moved on a little bit and we're gonna actually show you how to put a concrete water tank in the ground. So sit back, relax, and have a look at the next video. Now here you can see two concrete tanks from Colac Cement Products. They've just been delivered on the back of the truck. And we're gonna drop them straight into the ground in front of the two properties in Ballarat. As you can see, we've dug a three meter deep hole by about two meters wide each side into very heavy clay soil. So it's a fairly stable hole and the tank will fit in there nice and neatly. If you look in the next clip, what you'll see is the stormwater drain running from all of the downpipes on the house into the tank just under a plain gravity feed. I've got leaf eater leaf guards on all of my downpipes to ensure some coarse filtration before it gets into the tank. And then once it gets into the tank from DTB pumping in St Kilda Road in Melbourne, I've got their inline filter and that's a finer filter just running in the stormwater line into the tank with the water dropping out the bottom. It's a very good system. As you can see, we use the crane truck here to drop them straight into the hole. You can see the manhole in the top there if you do need to get access to that filter or the sump pump that's inside the tank. And we just backfilled with clay and other sticky material rather than crushed rock or sandy material which will allow too much water to get close to the side of the tank and risk it floating. The formula is as follows. For a 5,000 litre tank, you'll have 5,000 kilograms of lift. So you just need to make sure that the tank plus the soil on top weighs more than the capacity of the tank and you're okay. Now that you've captured all that water, what are you gonna do with it? What we've done is connect all external fixtures, laundry tap and the toilets to this tank in the ground. So we use one of these sump pumps in the bottom of the tank that's then connected to the DTB system you see here. That's got rainwater coming up from the ground. It's got mains water coming in from the top right there. It detects using the float switch whether there's any water in the tank. If there is, it uses it in the first instance. If there's not, it obviously uses mains water. That way your washing machine's never gonna run out of water and you're gonna be able to flush your toilet. And that about sums it up. Basically, you've got a tank which has all of your downpipes running into it with both gross filtration and fine filtration, giving you a fantastic freshwater product in the ground. As long as you pipe that to the maximum number of fixtures as we have in Ballarat, you'll save the maximum amount of water and preserve as much as possible for the rest of us. Good luck. We'll see you again soon.